Hello everyone, welcome back with our SPS video today. We're back on Runix RSPS. One of my favorite rules group private servers out there today, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna be recording a brand new video in here. Very excited, fast things fast. The giveaway is gonna be a $50 bond to one lucky winner. All you have to do for that was like the video, comment your names down below, and be subscribed to my channel. If you guys have checked Runix, make sure to do so. The links are down below, and I would say let's get right into the video. Today we're gonna to do a little bit of grinding, a little bit of gambling, maybe. We shall see. We also have a very exciting globals coming up very soon, which I'm gonna kill for the first time right hey runic's definitely one of the most unique runic private servers out there if you guys never checked it out make sure to do so the links are down below incredible semi-custom old school runic based server right hey and in case you guys need a little bit of help as a new player you've got a bunch of guides right here on the right hand side first things first the knowledge base right hey where you guys can learn about anything you want in game especially the custom mini games you guys can read about it in here there is a ton of unique content right there and then also we have the items guide where you guys will be able to read about all different custom items from best and slot to all the different armor sets right here with actually checking out the different effects they have, their ring coin value and so much more. And with that said, let's get right into the Globus kill. Starting off the episode right here with this crazy Vertizo right here. Actually, first time I'm killing it. That's got to be very exciting. I just love on Runix how they have these little sparkles on the different NPCs and everything that looks super, super nice right here. And of course, I want to check out also the drop tables right here. And we can say he's actually dropping a nice variety of different items, including Matt Fragments right here. That's very cool. Sacred Tokens, Pandora Mystery Box, Grand Crest, Dark Horde, and so much more. Okay, let's go ahead and clap and see what we're gonna be getting. Also currently in line 2014, replays in line uh, during and after day, peaking on 300 plus every single day, unique players. Actually incredible to see how the server's growing and growing. Super unique concept, you guys do not wanna be missing out. Holy shit, he actually got some crazy animations as well here, bro. We almost died, bro, that mechanic. Holy shit, right? We almost fucking died there. Alrighty, the bad boy's going down right here. Of course, we've got the grant looting back. One of the highest quality of life items there is. You definitely will not be taking those. Now, as we can see, it's actually dropping some freaking loot right now. That is actually insane, boys. Those portal actually spawn in loot right there after you kill it. That's actually insane. On top of all the current loot already that we've got. Don't in a mystery box. Do we get it? Would it not? Oh my god, bro, that is actually insane. Please, let me pick up something here. Please, game. Oh my god, I'll see you in a second, Martin. Hey, white mystery chest. Did we get that one? I don't even know. I'm actually so bad at clicking as well. That's actually insane. And I did manage to get all those items right here. We've just made absolute freaking profit. So I just checked out my reward card for Ron here. And we have two lovely totems. So we'll go ahead and kill these goatees of Ron with a bat. Obviously, we'll use the epic luck tokens. Because those bad boys right here are going to triple our lovely lootation. After maxing the account, I definitely want to start focusing on achievements as well as collection look rise. Because that's super, super fun right here. We've completed a bunch already. And the next one I would like to complete is the goatees of one. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this bad boy two times now with the three time luck tokens on. I'll see you with the first kill. And of course, what we're going to be grabbing is the grant looting bag. Anywhere I go, I'm grabbing this one. It's definitely one of the highest quality of life items you guys will be finding on Runix because literally just picking up the loot. So I kill coming in right here. Not lucky. Let's go for the next one. Righty, second kill is coming in right here. And I can no entry right there. That's very unfortunate. That's loot right here. Two kills. So six in total. Definitely happy about it. I'm going to show you really quick the collection look. This is how it looks like. ATKC right now. And we're missing the dark horn. We've got all the remaining items, including the pants. So I'm really happy about that one. And eventually, we're going to get the dark horn. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do some skilling right here. I want to get 99 Hunter out of the way. We are 90-something right now. So it's going to take me a minute, but it's actually really enjoyable and pretty chill while doing something else. There is also an achievement for this one right here, the prize prey number four right here. So I'm going to go and do that one right here. There's also the ring crafting one, which I'm I'm not sure, honestly, when I'm going to do this kind of CBA. Um, but yeah, that's an achievement. We're going to go and get that out of the way right now. Let's freaking go. I think that's very important when you're going to be grinding a rune, especially in the harder game. It's definitely to use those tokens, not just for the drop tables, aka lootation, you can use them, but also for skill and run. Hey, three times, and there's even better ones for five times. And also, you guys want to go and use XP boost in armor. For example, the Varric Armor 4 is going to give me 20%. Boost and all those little items right here are gonna give us an additional XP boost. And one of the latest drops right here, uh, XP boosting wise, is the Varak Armor 5. I'm not sure if I can actually purchase it. I'm gonna try, honestly. I have a lot of lovely points right here. Anyway, so what you guys can do is sell armor back and then actually purchase one. So we can see the value of right here. It's gonna be 100. There we go. So we're gonna sell it back for 100 points. 
And now we have 200 lovely achievement points, and we're going to be purchasing the Armor 5, which is going to give us a 5 additional boost towards the Armor 4. That's actually very, very nice. And you guys can see there's a huge variety of different items you guys will be able to purchase. But I think I've purchased every single item right here, boosting-wise. So we're going to be chilling. Alrighty, final trip right here. I honestly, um, yeah, we're not going to go for 99. It's taking way too fucking long. But 95 is pretty decent as well, I would say. And yeah, definitely super nice to see right here. I'm going to show you another method, which is pretty fun and custom as well on Runix that you guys can go out and do the, uh, some hunter grinds. But obviously, it's not going to be as good as this right here. But it's still good fun. And the method I'm talking about is the Cavern Prosperity Vine Hay. This is a content piece you will never see anywhere else besides on Runix Vine Hay. Essentially, you have a bunch of different scaling methods. And while doing them right here, you guys will be able to get yourself some lovely totems. Similar to the Scotizer totem, you guys will find the Galvanic totems right here. And you can mine those battles right here. You can go ahead and kill those with a harpoon, etc, etc. So different methods right here to be applied. Also, hunters included right here for the chins. And you guys... We'll be able to do something different. Well, skilly. Next, we're going to go back to some PVM and collection log grinds right here. I want to go and complete the barrel chest uh, collection log. We've started last episode. We got 50 kills and we did not complete it. We're missing one item as well on that one. So, I might as well go and try and look to complete this bad boy right here. Are you fucking kidding me? We've just got the third barrel just backpack right here. We just want this freaking sunken treasure casket right here, mate. Six kills in. All right, we keep going. By the way, even though we use luck tokens right here, they do not count three times the KC. So that's 57 times three, 160 something rolls on a drop. Okay, that's important to mention as well for Scotiza right there. So we have in total maybe 78 kills, but in total drops of lootation is like 200 something. Okay, that's important to mention. And by the way, anything we got farming, we're also using the cannon because it's just freaking OP to be honest. You get extra damage right there and it's very nice DPS. So I... Yep, definitely make sure we grab it one of those bad boys right here. Yo, no way, just teleported out because I want to grab food. I completed the collection log right here, quite sure. Uh, that is actually good news because I've just seen the collection log pop up right there. And actually, no, that's actually an achievement we've just completed right there, not the collection log. I'm not sure what we completed, but I guess I'll take it. And loot for whatever we've got is our uh, point mystery chest, epic luck tokens, and some cash. And of course, we just grab another barrel just backpack right here, bro. What is wrong with my freaking orangey here? Okay, couple more kills. Let's go. And another one, number three ready. Alrighty, boys, we have completed the lovely grind right here. We've got the final item right here. I'm very happy about that. And that was Casey. Let's have a look right here. I think it was less than 100, so I pray fucking lit, to be honest. That's the barrel chance look out of the way right here. 84, definitely happy about it and let's open this casket right here okay that's literally nothing and yeah definitely let me know if you guys are enjoying this bad boy right hey grinding collection logs everything because i think it's actually pretty fun another thing that's very op actually while grinding boston and collection logs is you guys will be getting boss points which you guys will be able to spend in this beautiful boss point tree right hey so the more perks you unlock the better for your account right hey and you guys can see what these perks are and the ones that you have to enable and the one that you already enabled and next i'm gonna go into a hung games right hey actually pretty fun essentially it's a survival mini game right hey where we're gonna start killing people if we win it we're gonna be getting some nice rewards which you guys will be able to spend in the shop right here and i think there's also some achievements for that as well so let's go ahead and win this bad boy all righty here we go seven people into this mini game right here old school no custom that's an interesting one i like custom ones these are the crazy one but i'm definitely gonna take old school no customs as well. so essentially we're gonna be opening those chests right here and we're gonna be grabbing as many items as we can and start killing people with them. So honestly i'm not too sure if we're gonna be able to kill someone right here but i'm gonna go with fucking range here Whatever, and we're gonna see how that goes, actually. This guy's actually running from me, right? Let's see how that one goes. Maybe we're actually up here something, which I am not aware of. But this could actually be freaking funny, and we're gonna go ahead and try to kill him. So this guy's literally just running around. That's just super funny. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we will be able to fucking kill him with something here. That'd be very nice. I'm gonna use the ballista as well, I think, as a combo right there. That'll be super nice, actually. Oh, my God, bro. He could have been easily dead there. Let's spec with it and see what we're going to be hitting with it. Bro, 48 headshot, brother. See you later. Bro, he fucking froze me a ton of the thing. I was literally on the other side of the map, so I'm thinking I'm going to be dying here. I don't have any food or something like that. That's just fucking tragic, dude. That is just fucking tragic. And this guy's just way too fucking tank to actually kill him or something, so we might as well just go out and try to fucking one shot him, something like that. Come on. Oh, God. We could have maybe killed him like that. Fucking, I did not expect this HS to be hitting that much, actually, but 
we're definitely gonna be dying. Okay, we're dealing good damage. I don't know how I'm still alive. He's literally just hitting, not hitting me. Uh, that's good news, I guess. I'm literally out of food. Uh, sorry. This is actually very funny. Yep. GG. For the end one here, I'm gonna go ahead and do some ring crafting grinds. Wanna get it to level 90, so we get that into an even number right there. And the total level will go over 2,300. Let's go. Alrighty, boys. 90 ring crafting coming in as well right here. I freaking love it. And yeah, you definitely want to go into the abyss with a pouch and everything. That's probably the most efficient way to do it. And we've just reached 2,300 total level as well. And by the way, over here, you guys will be able to buy also the root pouches from this guy and then run around to use all the different altars. And I've just checked my coffer and we have another dark totem rod here. I'm a huge fan of that. So we're going to go ahead and open this lovely box right here and also go and kill our Lesko teaser. Alrighty, good luck to us. I'm not too sure what we can get from this pet thing. Ooh, accessories, actually. That's not a rare one, but still. Donor mystery box right here. One and two. Nothing rare here either. Pretty unfortunate. Alrighty, finally, we're going to go ahead and kill a teaser for the advert. Hey, maybe we're going to be completing the collection look for the end. And the kill's coming in, and unfortunately, not the final piece that we actually need. But we've got another Dark Totem base, so we're gonna take that. And a final tip from my side for this video right here. If you guys want to do some scaling, you got a donor rank. Make sure to be scaling the donors. So you're gonna get more XP in here. It's super OP. You can do most skills from on here, so I definitely check out the donor zone as one well runics. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, comment, share your names down below, and be subscribed to my channel. And definitely make sure you're checking out Runix out with the links down below. Absolutely incredible server. One of my favorite super private servers out there. And with that said, have a good one and peace out.